How do I know if an inheritance via lawyer of recently deceased distant relative is legit? I just got an email about a supposed inheritance and I want to know if it's legit. And this relative's lawyer is in a different country. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably not legit. Yeah. Okay, so like, I'll say ask your five closest friends <laughs> have any of you received an inheritance from somebody in. I'm going to guess it's Nigeria. <laughs> There's a lot of the scams that involve Scotland or the UK. Um, and also, take that email, copy and paste it, and Google it, because you'll probably f eventually end up with a Snopes article that tells you that it's a fraud. <laughs> yeah. I have, in my legal career, I have called maybe five people ever to tell them they had an inheritance. Most people who have an inheritance are friends or family of someone who's died and would are usually in the loop already. I'll say very rarely does a stranger contact you with money you should you that's enti you're entitled to. It just be skeptical, especially and eventually the, if you respond to them, which is totally fine if you're into trolling, they're going to ask <laughs> you for money and then at that point you should call it a day. No, yeah. I mean, that makes sense though, right? Cuz I mean, it's like nobody really has much incentive to like go and track down the rightful owner of whatever the cash is. They might, is. but the, it, it, will, it will profit the lawyer somehow. Right, right. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Just know when someone reaches out to you, they're tr they're doing it not out of the goodness of their heart, but they're doing it to make money. And right. a good chance they're might making money at your expense. Yeah. So cool. So I probably shouldn't trust the uh, Be estate. incredibly skeptical. Um, <laughs> Ava was actually the entirely right form for that question. <laughs> it isn't the exact worthy form for a question about <laughs> internet scams. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Sweet. Yeah. No, that, I think that's a useful piece of advice, though. You know, I mean, that's because, I mean, on the day to day, I mean, if someone has an interaction with an estate planning issue, like that's one that a lot of people might have. Hey, cool. I used to get so many of those people like my uncle, uh, this uncle I didn't know about is leaving me a fortune. It's like, say, say that back to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Does it sound too good to be true? Yeah, it probably is. If there was a legit, how would a legit uh, person approach you who actually has an estate like would they email you or would it be a call or would you get like a subpoena thing I what mean, is what is it when someone serves you papers is okay. that w what would happen so that, that's being served so okay. usually but Probably um, not that if, so you wouldn't be served unless you were an interested party in the estate already like a heir of a deceased person um if someone act if someone unknowing if if someone unbeknownst to you left you an inheritance I mean, the estate lawyer would probably reach out to you, but this is a situation that happens so infrequently because normally the people who have an interest, the vast majority of wills leave things to family members and close friends. Right. Um, you typically do not leave money to a distant relative somewhere. Does it happen? Sure. Um, but what, should you expect it to happen? No. If um, you If you were to reach out to someone a distant relative right how would you how would you do it would you do it with an email or would you give them a call we or? would probably do a phone call gotcha but we'd probably either a phone call it, it, it would depend so what lawyers do when we have to find someone is that we have to engage in what's called an, a search I guess, I guess that's not literally a legal term that's an actual term of search <laughs> so um there are companies that will do searches for people and so they'll give us back a report um through public record searches of like from stuff like their most recent mailing address and whatever, and their most recent email address and stuff like that, and we'll attempt to like bombard all those things until we can find the right person. No, oh, cool. So it could come anywhere. Um, email is theoretically possible, but it's not favored. Um, I'll try to call someone first. Cool. Because it's easier to track the history of a phone number than it is the history of a. Uh, e uh, it's whether someone opened up the email or not and whether you got the right person or whether someone else stuff like that so it could have in my email i don't anything is possible um, <laughs> but don't hold your breath on it gotcha okay cool thanks for watching i hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable um listening to us um rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet it would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404-738-9538. And you can also leave us an email at the address below.